In this video lecture, I will explain you how to design the step by step process of the building structure by using SAP 2000 software. Okay, so I was already done the modeling process for the building structure. So after modeling process is completed, we need to proceed with the analysis process. Okay, firstly, I will show you the model which I was already done the modeling process for the building structure in SAP 2000 software. Okay, so click on the SAP software here. This is my building model. It will be consisting of A, B, C, D, E, F. In horizontal direction grids and vertical direction grid will be consisting of one, two, three, four. Okay. So in order to see the grid data, which is nothing but the center to center distance between the column, you have to click on right click on the model. So click on the edit grid data option. So click on modify option. So you can select the spacing option so that it will show you the center to center distance between the each column. For A to B, it is uh, around four point six five, and this is three point two, two point three six, three point three five, four point. 27 again in the same process it will be consisting of one point uh, this is this is a center to center distance between the column in vertical direction okay so after modeling process completed we need to define the beam size column size and slab thickness before that we need to give the material properties which is comes under the grade of the concrete and grade of the steel so click on the define option for this building structure i was consider m40 gradle concrete provision and fe 550 grade steel provision according to the standards okay then after that we need to click on the define option section property for this building i was consider the slab thickness which is approximately equal to 150 mm so after defining the properties like beam size column size and slab thickness we need to assign those property now you can see this is a 3d model and this is the 2d model after assigning process this is the ground level and this is the first uh, ground floor and this is uh, first floor second floor third floor fourth floor fifth floor sixth floor and this is the last floor which is of seventh floor okay so now we had to proceed with uh, analysis process before that we need to assign the load cases for this building structure i was taken the loads which is comes under the dead load live load seismic load as well as the wind loading condition system okay so now we have to do the analysis process so further go to analyze option here on the top click on uh, set load cases to run option here so initially we need to select this okay option and analyze option say uh, select uh, set load cases to run option here so click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process with the considerations of your respective loads okay so after analysis process is completed i will show you the values which is comes under the deflection value shear value as well as the uh, uh, like uh, time period value frequency value etc for the building structure okay then after that i will show you the uh, uh, diagrams which is comes under the shear force bending moment torsion okay now we can see it is analyzing here now you can see here it was done with complete analysis process so it is showing the deflection diagram here like this so now i will show you the uh, values which is comes under the shear force and bending moment etc for this building structure so for that we need to click on the display option which is uh, specified on the top okay so here i am selecting the display option here select uh, show uh, forces option select uh, frames forces here okay so if you select the shear to toe option so that it will display the uh, shear force diagram building structure now we can see this is the blue color mark which indicates the shear force diagram you can select any one of the option from this particular section just i am selecting the results which is comes under the model only okay why because model results will be more accurate when you compare with the another results okay again in the same process i am selecting the moment 3 3 option click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram for the building structure again in the same process select the torsion option click on apply so that it will display the torsion diagram for the building structure under consideration now after the analysis results just we have to see the results which is comes under the table or format okay for that go to display option select uh, show tables option you can select the load case according to your consideration just i'm selecting uh, model option here okay so after that we have to select the values which you, uh, which is required for your model just i'm selecting displacement value here select here reaction values here joint reactions you can select any one of the values according to your consideration just i'm selecting random values here from this particular section I am selecting structural output. Let us consider base reactions, uh, which is comes under this time period frequency values. Let us consider here again. I am selecting uh, values here like this. You can click on OK option so that it will take some time for loading the values in the table or format. Okay. So after loading process completed, it will show you the results here like this, which is comes under the base reactions. Again, it will be consisting of joint displacement values. Again, it will be consisting of reaction values here. Again, it will be consisting of time period values as well as the frequency values for the considered 12 number of the modes. Okay. Click on done option. 
Now, after checking the results, which is comes under the analysis process, we need to design this building structure. Okay. For that, go to click on the design on the top. It will be consisting of steel frame design, concrete frame design, or aluminium frame design section. Okay. As per my our consideration, just we are taking this building structure is steel frame design. Okay. So here I was taken the uh, section which is comes under the steel frame only. Okay. So which is consisting of some dimensions and some of the values. Okay. So if you want to uh, design the steel frame design according to your IS eight nine hundred section, just you have to follow the steps here. Okay. So this is the ISMB three hundred section which I was considered for this. beam okay so again in the same process we have to do the now we have to do the designing go to design option steel frame design select view revised preferences option firstly we have to select the is codal provision standard system which i am selecting here as is 800 2007 click on okay again click on design steel frame design so you can select the groups or else you can directly click on the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected beam sections and column sections according to your consideration then after that you can see the results which is developed by using sap 2000 software okay now i am selecting this model in 3d rendering view option as i am selecting here as 3d model now you can see it is showing some of the beams which is of red color this red color indicates the beams or columns which we are considered for the basic building structure of the steel structure it is not resisting the loading condition system just i am selecting this beam click on this option click on the summary option so that it will show you the complete designing results which is comes under this beam section which is of i section again in the same process i am selecting one more column section just i am selecting this vertical member which is of column right click on it click on the summary option it will be consisting of your respective reinforcement values here but in this it is showing that design me message here like beam by column capacity ratio exceeds the limit value according to your is clause 12.11.3.2 okay so it is showing the message here if you want to design the perfect economical as well as the perfect design according to your consideration just you have to follow this is 12.11.3.2 so for just tutorial purpose just i was not consider this respected is standard system okay this is the procedure only for following the designing consideration okay so again in the same process i will show you the uh, beam reinforcement design for the another beam section which is of long beam section just i am clicking on this This is a summary of the reinforcement design results. This is comes under your perfect design results according to the considered load cases according to the obtained values of the shear bending torsion. This is the flexure details for this respected beam steel beam. Again, this is the envelope which is comes under this particular beam section. Okay. So again, in the same process, you can check the reinforcement design results according to IS codal provision for any kind of the beam. Like this is the bottom beam. Just I am selecting here. Just I am selecting summary option. This is the bottom beam reinforcement design results. Okay. In the same process, you can check any one of the reinforcement design under this. Okay. So in my upcoming video, I will explain you the detailing process for the RCC building structure by using SAP 2000 software. So this is only the procedure video which is comes under the how to design the particular building structure of the steel structure by using SAP 2000 software. So if you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your respected questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.